Mother of the Scapular. A 15-year-old boy became martyr for the faith. And you, would you have the courage to be a martyr? Francisco Garcia is one of the 127 martyrs beatified in the Diocese of Cordoba last October 16, 2021. The militiamen arrested his family and threatened to take him to jail if he did not get rid of his scapular. He said he did not mind going to jail. He was 15 years old and 7 months old when he was killed during the religious persecution that took place between 1936 and 1939 during the Spanish Civil War. He is the youngest of the group of martyrs recently beatified, followed closely by another young man who was already 16 years old. According to information on the Diocese of Cordova website, since he was a child, Francisco showed a life of special piety and stood out for his availability to collaborate with the Church and for his simple charity towards the elderly and the most needy. In the most difficult moments of July 1936, when the Spanish Civil War began and religious persecution intensified, Francisco was one of the few young people in the town who attended Mass daily and received communion. He always showed joy, education, and correctness, even in these difficult and supreme moments. On July 20, 1936, militiamen arrived at Francisco's house to arrest his father. An hour later, the militiamen returned to arrest his uncle. It was then that they saw that Francisco had a scapular of the Virgin of Mount Carmel in his pants pocket. A militia man told him to take it off, to which he refused. They told him that if he did not take it off, they would take him to jail, together with his relatives. The young Francisco answered resolutely that it would be so, that he would go to jail, but that he would not take off the scapular. Francisco was arrested and died on July 22nd when Marxist militiamen entered the barracks where he was imprisoned and killed the detainees. Comments. This beautiful story of martyrdom or the faith brings us to these times when Christ is betrayed. Few are resisting and even fewer dare to reach martyrdom or the faith. Would you be able to be martyred for Christ? Here, I am going to show you several reasons why a true Christian would suffer and even risk his life for his faith in Jesus. Do we listen to heresies and remain calm? Or do we stick up for Christ at the cost of risking being called a fanatic? We know that receiving communion in the hand is a profanation, a true sacrilege. Do we still do it? Or do we resist to the point of preferring not to receive the Lord? We are witnesses of liturgical abuses, priests and bishops who do wrong. Do we remain silent? Do we wash our hands so as, no, as not to look bad in front of them and we keep our mouths shut? Or are we capable of protesting and speaking out to correct errors? We see people in our homes, in our families, people who offend God by breaking His commandments. Are we dumb dogs and pass it all by? Or do we really protest what they are doing? We know that vaccines are produced with cells from aborted babies. Do we approve of that and allow ourselves to be vaccinated? Or do we protest not allowing the mark of the beast to be applied on us? Can we risk to suffer? And so, can we trust in God? The world lives in lies. Are we capable of resisting by speaking the truth and thus risking even our own life? 
The Maccabees did not eat pork and gave their lives for the faith. Where is our courage? Are we capable of giving our lives for Christ? Jesus suffered much and detested the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. Now we live in a world of Pharisees. Jesus expects martyrs, men and women who will stand up for the Christian faith. Mark 8 verse 35 For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and for the gospel's sake will save it. Long live Christ the King! If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. Please give us your opinion. Is it worth sacrificing for Christ? God bless you.